What's up, G Fuel fanatics, maniacs, and addicts? It's your boy Blocks Nine coming back at it again with another G Fuel review video. I gotta make sure my mic's turning the right way. So it's gonna feel kind of rushed today because I actually got an exam to take. But to fo focus for that exam, I'm gonna be reviewing the G Fuel Nemesis Tea flavor. What I'm kind of excited about, people have told me it's lemonade and tea. Well, that is the fifth flavor profile. I think this is the first like Arnold Palmer situation that we got in here. I think the la like the label of the Nemesis tea flavor w was really badass. Um, like take a look at that. I was gonna flip it the right way. I read that Shock gave it a six out of ten, so I'm really interested to see it. I don't have the powder for comparison. I don't even know who I can contact for like a sample powder to do the comparison. And I was really excited because my girlfriend opened the box. Uh, I knew what it was coming already. I ordered this. Maybe a week later after G Fuel and I wanted to do the unboxing, but I was just like toss the box. Um and you can you can see what's inside because she was really excited. So I got my version two G Fuel box. I'm super excited for that as well because now I get to start away with like my version one pack as well that I have from the original. Um the post office does what it's famous for, and my cans came indented, the box came indented. I'm really disappointed um as well. So I'm kind of excited when stores actually start getting, like my area starts getting in stores. I know Dallas has these for a fact. There's a couple of shops in Dallas. Um, and G Fuel released the cans in Dallas, like I think a week or two later after I was in Dallas. So they've been there. Like it's in the area. It's like there is the potential. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited to try it. There's just so much going on with this. They had the Umbrella Corporation sticker right here. They have the G Fuel logo. I'm digging the like, I'm digging my Texas Tech colors right here. That red and white combination. And then we have the Limited Edition Can logo right here as well. And then I don't know who this dude, I'm assuming it's Nemesis. Um, so we're gonna give it a crack right now. I love it. I love the carbonation of these and I love just the uniqueness. Well, very lemon forward. Let's put it in our famous wine glass. Now this is the only G Fuel to have a color, the only can that has a coloration on it. Now we can, let me see, there you go. Now this is an alcohol, I just poured it in front of you guys. I'm going to drink about half of this before I start my exam. I'm going to drink it right here on stream with you guys, or on the review. Um, as you can see, it's a clear coloration. It's semi-clear. We have a little bit of cloudiness going on in the background. Um, no, that's not my wine glass. I thought that it already turned it cold. There's not like a heavy carbonation coming from it, but there is carbonation in the presence. That smells like a Nestle tea, like... If you've ever drinking a tea from a bottle, there's a difference between tea from a can and tea from a bottle. I feel like the tea from a bottle is really light. Um, tea is very tannic as well. That means like your, the walls of your mouth dry as well when you take a sip from it and it leaves your mouth. I can smell the lemon. It's like a, and it's, it's an iced tea with lemon. That's what it smells like. That's just on the nose. I don't know if it's like tea, like actual tea or tea flavor. I'm assuming that's the only way you can get that coloration if it's actual tea. We're gonna take a sip now. Okay, that's super interesting. It's very light and fluff. It's like, it's not fluffy, but it's a very light drink. Um, when I first tasted it, initially on the tongue, there's a lot of lemon. And then when we had the middle, the middle notes, once we got to like the core, it was more of like the iced tea lemonade. It's not, it's not bad. I think it's perfect time right now in summer. It's not my favorite by far or what it tastes like. Um, I'm getting a little bit of the aftertaste of the artificial sweetener that they're using. It's not like bad as in some cans that we tasted before. 
Oh, uh, the Rainbow Sherbet by far was a two out of ten. Uh, even to this day, I'm not supposed. I'm not really sure what Rainbow Sherbet tastes like. I think the closest thing we came up was Orange Ice. Uh, I want you. Let me, let me see if I can find it. If I can find it and edit this video properly, I'm gonna put you what I'm talking about, what it tastes like, because this tastes like a bottle of tea. They they nailed it on the, the flavoring that it's tea. It's just very light and crispy. It tastes like a. I almost want to say it tastes like a cola. Like there there is a difference with the coloration, and then a clear. G feel as well like G clear G feels crisp. Now, I'm not saying this is, isn't crisp. You can definitely taste like the difference between the clear G feel and, D, and the G feel coloration. Um, again, it's just a T. I don't have to agree with shock on this. Did I drop? It looks like I dropped some on my laptop. Okay. I'm gonna give it a six out of ten. It's not horrible. I think it's perfect. Now we're coming in the summer season. Um, I feel like it's a hot day at the pool. You want a little bit of energy because you're being drained from the sun. Um, you pull this bad boy out of your cooler. That's what I feel like it's good for. Um, gaming wise, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be 100 percent sure. This is definitely interesting. It's not the greatest, but that's that's what I I'm gonna review. I assume the powder's better. I can't wait till we get the packets. I'm gonna see if we can save one and maybe get a sample from somebody, and then we'll do a comparison there. Um, but that's it for the review. There isn't too much on the end notes. It's a very mild flavor. So if you're looking for a mild combination with lemon and some tea, highly recommend it. Um, not a personal favorite, but I would drink it. A if this is, if I wouldn't, this wouldn't be my first pick and it wouldn't be my last pick. It's just right there in the middle. Six out of 10. This is very nice. And it's only getting that extra point from like the five out of 10 because it is um, correlated with what it's supposed to taste like. Now guys, I'll see you in the next video. Wish me luck on this test. I'm going to kick its butt. But in the meantime, I'd like you to subscribe right here. You can watch the old reviews right here. And then you can watch my latest review there. I'll see you next time.